Grade 5 Math, number 7.7, .7, Multiply Fractions, Area, and Mixed Numbers Using Unit Squares. Do you remember from fourth grade, to find the area of a rectangle, we multiply the length times the width? The length is 6 and the width is 3. We do 6 times 3 and the area is 18 units. There's 18 squares. And remember, the top is the numerator and the bottom is the denominator, okay? We can find the area of a rectangle if the length or width is a fraction. Our length is 2 and our width is a half. We can multiply 2 times a half. We can put the 2 over a 1 to make it look like a fraction, so it's equivalent to a fraction, and we can just multiply straight across. 2 times 1 is 2, 1 times 2 is 2. When the numerator and denominator are the same, 2 halves, it makes 1 whole. Now we've got 4 times 2 thirds. We've got the 4 over a 1 as an improper fraction, and we can just multiply straight across. 4 times 2 is 8. 1 times 3 is 3. That gives us 2 and 2 thirds when we simplify it. That's 3 thirds plus 3 thirds plus 2 thirds. So the 8 thirds is 2 and 2 thirds. So we can find the area by multiplying a whole number 3 by a mixed number 2 and a half. We have three squares going across this way, but only two and a half going this way. We can count the squares as six whole squares here and three halves. See? We can split the equation into two parts. We can do three times two, which is the six. We can see them right here. See? Then we can do three times a half. One, two, three times a half. Three times a half is three halves. That simplifies to one and a half. That gives us seven and a half squares. See? Look at these flowers. So how many flowers are there? There's three coming down this way, but there's three and one fourth going that way. So we can multiply three times three and one fourth. Three times three is nine. We can see the nine right here. And then we have three fourths, don't we? We can multiply the three to the three see, and then multiply the 3 to the 1 fourth, and we get 9 and 3 fourths. We just split the equation into two parts. See that? Now here's one that's a little trickier, and this is why I had to remake this video. This is a new version, because I want to thank one of my viewers, Susie, for finding a math error that I made. I accidentally put a 4 as the denominator when I did this in the first video, so it made the math wrong. So even though each square is split into four, see the dark lines? How many dark lined purple squares are there? So because we're going with the dark lines, we're going to ignore the little light lines in there, and we've got one full, two, two and a half squares that are purple here, then we've got one, two, three and a half squares that are purple going this way. So we can do two and a half times three and a half. So remember how to make an improper fraction. We just come around counterclockwise, don't we? We go two times two plus the one. So we get five halves. So what we can do is change these whole numbers into improper fractions. The two and a half becomes five halves, and the three and a half becomes seven halves, and then we can just multiply straight across. 7 times 5 is 35, and 2 times 2 is 4. We get 35 fourths, which simplifies to 8 and 3 fourths, because the 4 goes into 35 8 times with 3 left over. See that? Okay, so that is how you can multiply fractions and mixed numbers. Okay? I hope this helped, and I hope this was clearer than the first version. And again, thank you, Susie, for pointing out my mistake. And I really appreciate it. See you next video. Bye.